In this tutorial, we will be discussing division of polynomials, particularly dividing a polynomial by a binomial. There are a number of ways to do this, tulad ng longhand division at synthetic division. In this video, we'll discuss synthetic division, while the other method called longhand division is discussed in a separate tutorial. You might want to see the video first by clicking the link in the description below. Now, here are the concepts you need to recall. Don't worry. If ever makalimutan nyo na, we'll try to explain them as we go along. First and foremost, why use synthetic division? Why not just use longhand division instead? Here is example number one, solved using longhand method. Notice that this process, although very intuitive since it's based on longhand division of numbers, has two main drawbacks. First, Medyo matagal gawin since you would need to write and rewrite literal coefficients many times. Second, and more importantly, there's a big possibility to be careless in subtracting the group of terms. So, wouldn't it be great if we have an alternative? That's where synthetic division comes in. At first, it may look like a longer process because of the steps, but once we get the hang of it, mas mabilis siyang method. Let's try to solve the same problem using synthetic division. Here are the steps. Number one, write on a row the numerical coefficients of the dividend inside an upside down division symbol. Meaning, in this case, we have the numerical coefficients one, followed by negative 10, and then we have positive 16, just the numerical coefficients inside an inverted division symbol, like so. Step 2. Equate the divisor to 0 and solve for the variable, meaning x minus 8 equate to 0 and then solve for the variable x by transposing negative 8 to the right side. So x is equal to 8. This is what we call the test zero. Next, step three. Put this test zero to the left. So place this eight to the left side. Step four. Bring down the first numerical coefficient. You bring down one. Step five. Multiply this value by the test 0 and write into the next column. So in this case, 1 times 8 is equal to 8. So we got this by multiplying 1 times our test value, test 0, 8. 1 times 8 is equal to 8. Next step, add down the column, meaning negative 10 plus 8 is equal to negative 2. Notice that compared to longhand division, where you subtract and distribute the minus sign, where carelessness occur, synthetic division uses addition instead, a much easier process. Next, we repeat step 5 and 6. Again, this value multiplied by the test 0. So we have negative 2 times 8, which is negative 16. Again, we got this by multiplying negative 2 times 8. Finally, step 6, add down the column. So in this case, we have 16 plus negative 16, which is 0. So what do these numbers mean? The numbers here are the numerical coefficients of the quotient. Well, the last number is the remainder. It's very important to note that the literal coefficient of this first number here, that's 1, is always 1 less than the degree of the dividend. The reason is that when you divide variables, we subtract the exponents. Meaning, when this is x squared and this is x to the first power, the literal coefficient here should be x to the 2 minus 1. Therefore, just x. 
since this should have a decreasing order of degree, negative 2 will have no variable. It will be our constant. The remainder is 0, so here's our final answer. x minus 2. We can of course check the answer by comparing the results from longhand division. Or by multiplying the answer by the divisor using FOIL method, as quickly shown here. Now this solution looks long, but actually it should be much faster because it will only involve this part. Hopefully this second example will be more convincing. This time though, let's do this a little faster when, and still with the guide given. So let's answer. Step 1. Write the numerical coefficients of the dividend. Once we have 5, 16, 1. Take note we have a numerical coefficient. There it's 1. And then the last one is negative 6. Also notice, before we wrote this, you should always check, are these in decreasing degree of order? Meaning, are there exponents in decreasing degree? In this case, yes. So we can go to step 1. Equate the divisor to 0 and solve for the variable. x plus 3 equate to 0. Now, solving for x by transposing 3, this now becomes negative 3. This is what we call our test 0. Next, step 3. Put this test 0 to the left. We have negative 3. That's to the left of our inverted division symbol. Next, step 4. Bring down the first numerical coefficient. So we have 5. Multiply that value by the test 0 and write into the next column. So let's multiply this by our test 0, negative 3. What's 5 times negative 3? It's negative 15. Next, add down the column. So let's add 16 plus negative 15. It's of course much easier than subtraction in longhand division. 16 plus negative 15 is simply 1. Next, repeat 5 and 6. Step 5, multiply this value by our test 0. 1 times negative 3 is negative 3. Then repeat step 6, add down the column. 1 plus negative 3 is negative 2. And then repeat steps 5 and 6 again. So negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. And then lastly, step 6, add down negative 6 plus 6 is equal to 0. Now, this is important, again, because as you can see, our remainder is 0, meaning the result is exact. There's no extra value. Now, what do these numbers mean again? Take note that the degree, the degree of our dividend is 3. So this is x cubed. Therefore, the degree of our answer should be 1 less. So this should be x squared, then descending order of degree, this will be our x, and then this will be our constant. Therefore, the final answer is 5x squared plus 1x, I don't need to write 1, so we simply write x, and then minus 2. So this is our answer. Of course, this answer can be checked by multiplying using vertical method as quickly shown here. Our final answer must be correct. Here's a third example. This time, it is very important to note that sometimes there is sort of an incomplete dividend. If we observe the terms of the numerator, we are missing a term with x as the literal coefficient. It is very important that we place 0 as the numerical coefficient of this x as a placeholder for that term. Otherwise, the answer will be incorrect. So let's write the numerical coefficients. 
we have 1 as the numerical coefficient of x squared followed by 0 as the numerical coefficient of x and lastly the constant as negative 9 and then place this inside an inverted division symbol next let's look at our divisor we have x minus 3 is equal to 0 therefore x is equal to 3 so this is our test 0 now you can do this or simply get the opposite of negative 3 which is 3 that's a shortcut so we write that test value 3 here the next we bring down 1 then multiply 1 times 3 is 3 and then you add 0 plus 3 is 3 then multiply again 3 times 3 which is 9 and then finally add negative 9 plus 9 which is 0 again as you can see our remainder here is 0 which means the answer is exact meanwhile let's look at our literal coefficients we have here x squared therefore this is one less degree therefore this is x and this is our constant finally our answer is 1x or simply x plus 3 so that is our answer so finally this means since 0 ang remainder natin this dividend is exactly divisible by x minus 3 meaning x minus 3 is a factor of this binomial again we can check the answer by multiplying the, this answer by the divisor using FOIL method as quickly shown here I hope mas gets nyo na ang synthetic division it's really a fast way of dividing a polynomial by a binomial in fact this will be used in intermediate algebra as you learn rational roots but that's for another video there is a big disadvantage of synthetic division though this will only work for linear divisors meaning the degree of the divisor should be 1. Here's our last example. We have this polynomial 3x cubed plus 11x squared minus 2x plus 10 divided by this linear binomial x plus 4. So first step, we write the numerical coefficients of our dividend. So we have 3 followed by 11 and then we have negative 2 and then we have 10 place this inside an inverted division symbol the next let's look at our divisor x plus 4 equate that to 0 therefore x is equal to negative 4 so this is our trial 0 so we have negative 4 copy it here on the left side we continue bring down 3 and then multiply 3 times negative 4 is negative 12 then we add down 11 minus 12 is negative 1 then we multiply again negative 1 times negative 4 is positive 4 then we add down negative 2 plus 4 is equal to positive 2 next we multiply again 2 times negative 4 is negative 8 and then finally we add down 10 plus negative 8 is equal to 2 now for the first time in this video we have an inexact answer meaning we have a remainder for this particular item now before we deal with this let's write first the literal coefficients of our terms that's the literal coefficient of our dividend therefore this is one less this should be x squared so writing our quotient we have 3 x squared decreasing degree this will now be minus this should be x and this should be our constant so we have negative 1x or simply negative x and then plus 2 now recall what do we mean when we have remainder 2 let's look at numbers so that we have a basis let's say we're given 9 divided by 4 of course we know that this is 2 then 2 times 4 is 8 then when we subtract 
the final answer, 9 minus 8, is 1. What do you mean by 1 as the remainder? Of course, when we were in elementary, we were used to writing remainder 1. But this doesn't make much sense. What makes sense more, however, is writing this as 2, and we have an extra here, meaning we have 2 plus something, 1, and then divided by 4. That means this remainder is an incomplete division, so we have 1, but you know you have to divide it by 4. So the final answer is 2 and 1 fourth. We do the same here. We have plus 2 all over our divisor x plus 4. Hence the answer, 3x squared minus x plus 2, and then an extra plus 2 over x plus 4. You are now given a chance to answer some exercises. You can pause this video to do this on your own. Don't worry, the answers will be shown and the solution to the last item will also be given so you can learn more. You can try this now and pause this video. Kaya yan! Go! Here are the answers so you can check. Please don't forget to like and subscribe. Happy solving!